Yeah, you guys saw that, right? The CPU rebuild challenge is going to suck because the computer's controlling everything. The trades, the draft, free agency, and contracts. I'm talking everything. We don't do squat. It's going to suck. But before we hop into today's video, I got something really cool to show you guys. You guys saw that right? I'm joining the live chat for the MLB game of the week. The Dodgers versus the Phillies tomorrow, which is Thursday at 1230 Eastern, 930 AM Pacific on MLB's YouTube channel. I'll be joined with a few other creators and industry experts. You guys can follow along for our live commentary and insights on the game at the link that is posted in the comment section. All right, so in the pinned comment, there's that link that'll take you to the game tomorrow on MLB's YouTube channel. I will also post it on the community tab right before the game starts tomorrow. Come hang out, come watch some baseball. And you guys will see some of us talking alrighty So let's get into today's video. Alrighty, so yeah, we're gonna be doing a CPU rebuild. Like I've said, we can't make any trades. We can't make any signings. We control nothing. It's all on the CPU to win us a championship. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm going to make my thing like m my job a little bit easier. We're going to go with the Houston Astros. As you guys can see, everything is left alone, so there's no 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 funky business going about there, but everything is going to be turned on auto manage. We're not controlling anything at all. So, let's go take a look. Let's see how this is going to turn out. I want to make sure in the settings everything is set to auto for this. Drafting auto Everything else is on auto. This is going to be very, very, very interesting to see how this turns out. I really don't know how it is. But guys, before we hop into this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. If we hit 500 likes, I'll do, I'll do a double upload tomorrow. So 500 likes, we'll do a double upload tomorrow. We'll do a zero overall franchise and we'll do a rebuild as well. Also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's video, Hit that subscribe button. We're approaching 15,000 subs. And I really want to reveal what I have planned for you guys. It is amazing. I really got to show you guys. And in the comment section, let me know some other rebuild challenges, you know, for the future. Yeah, we got that going. So let's get into today's challenge. Whew, let's take a look at the lineup for the Astros. Michael Brantley, Josh Reddick, Jose Altuve, Springer, Bregman, Correa, Diaz, Chirinos, and Guriel. So overall, the team looks solid. Obviously, I want my job to be easy. I don't have to worry about the roster, but I got to worry about the CPU completely destroying it. We got Verlander, Cole, McCullers, Peacock, Miley, McHugh, Presley, Davinsky, Joe Smith, Will Harris, Hector Rondon, and Roberto Osuna. Let's take a look at some of our minor leaguers. We got Josh James. We got Francis Martez, um, Forrest Whitley, JB Bukaskis, um, Corbin Martin, and Framber Valdez. Let's take a look at our lineup because I know we got a couple nice prospects as well. Miles Straw, Jordan Alvarez, um, Kyle Tucker's good, Derek Fisher. So we got some names to look out for for the future as long as the CPU doesn't get rid of them. Man, I don't know what's going to happen, but let's see how things go. Alrighty, the CPU's first order of business. We got to trade Brandon Drury for AJ Reed and Jairo Solis. I also forgot to show you guys that I simmed this, the draft. So we're going to have to see if the CPU has uh, signed any players. So when we finish this month, we'll go take a peek and see what players the CPU has signed from the draft. I mean, I don't, I really don't know what to expect. Okay. That's uh that's a big trade right there. <laughs> George Springer for Mike Clevenger and Leonis Martin of the Indians. I guess that's, that's a good way to keep the live reactions and stuff going. Uh, Mets trade for Vlad Jr. Whoa. Okay. So once this month finishes, we're going to see what happened with the draft. Um, those are the only two trades that have been made. Let's take a look. CPUs signed everybody. And oh God, Michael Thomas, 55 overall, 86 potential. We got Benito Muriel, 50 overall with c potential 76 we got some really bad 60 potential players and then an 89 roosevelt pruitt 71 overall 89 potential so i guess that's okay um let's see how we are at the trade deadline no more george springer they did i mean i guess they strengthened the starting rotation adding uh mike clevenger but 
ah man that one's a little tough to watch happen george springer always becomes a beast in uh franchise so i was kind of thinking while these last couple months were simulating maybe because the cpu is controlling it will actually win more than one world series right because i suck at winning world series maybe the cpu can do better than me so let's take a peek let's see how things went we went 92 or no no i lied we went 90 and 70 taking on the twins in the divisional series let's see couple couple league leaders just one michael brantley with hits no awards won the division by three games above the angels and the mariners okay and let's see what our our playoff slash mlb roster is currently looking like uh altuve kind of struggled 255 average 283 for josh reddick for some reason josh reddick's a beast in franchise i don't i don't get it bragman hit 312 nice 36 home runs 95 rbis correa Average is a little low, but the home runs and RBIs are there. Brantley had a good year. Alen Diaz, a little bit of a letdown. Guriel's solid. Chirinos, 25 homers. Can't knock that. And then Leonis Martin is definitely not George Springer. So looking at this, not terrible, not amazing. Um, let's just see kind of how Jordan Alvarez is progressing. He's up to a 74. He's definitely a player I'm looking forward to seeing develop. Pitching rotation-wise, you guys can see what's going on here. Clevenger had a pretty solid year. I'll take that. Uh, Verlander, for some reason, is our fourth starter. Not too sure I understand why, but cool, I guess. He had a very good year, by the way. Ryan Presley did as well. Joe Smith did. He's down to a 90 or 94, down to a 74. And then you guys can see the rest of the squad. Maybe put Joe, we'll maybe do that. And then Devensky slash Osuna are there for the one-two punch to finish the year off. So let's let's take a peek. Let's see how things go against the Twins facing elimination. Game number five. Boom, we advance. Look at that. So McCullers is starting. Why is McCullers our number one? I really don't understand this. Uh oh uh, oh no 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 no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The CPU is handling everything. The CPU is handling everything. Uh, we're back to normal. CPU is handling everything. I'm not supposed to touch it. My bad. I'm breaking rules already. Um, so let's see how things go against the Red Sox. 3-2, we're up. And we're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series. Okay, I'm not allowed to touch anything. I got to remember that. So going against the Dodgers, they're about to get swept. They don't. Cool. Oh, maybe a little reverse, a little reverse sweep coming up. And they lose in oh, game six. That sucks. So do we have a playoff MVP at least? We do. Alex Bregman is there. And Chris Taylor is the World Series MVP. But Bregman. Bregman had himself a postseason. Let's take a look at the lineup and everything. You guys can see how everybody did. Yeah, Bregman had himself a postseason for sure. Brantley was pretty solid with the bat as well. Aledmus Diaz did quite well. Um, Chirinos. But it looks like, for the most part, some of our, our key bats went a little bit quiet. Correa. Um, Altuve went a little quiet. So disappointing to see and then some of our starters oh my gosh these two were good but these those three whoo that's a little shocking to see joe smith struggled and then everybody else did well i messed up the pitching too so the cpu took over and changed that so i definitely should not be touching the lineup or the pitching rotation at all view retired players nobody from the astros all right so we got those guys i am not allowed to touch any of this so when you see me next, season two will begin. I lied. We got a little off-season action. Uh, I don't like this trade at all. Framber Valdez and Josh Reddick for Ender Inciarte. I feel like we could get a little bit better than Ender Inciarte out of this, but CPU wants to do what it's got to do, and this trade sucks. Some more action. Jarrett Parker. I don't know who that is, but he's coming from the Angels for relief pitcher Joe Smith. Alrighty, CPU, what are you going to give us? This is our team post uh, offseason. Uh, we got a new catcher, Alex Avila. Jordan Alvarez is playing right field for us. And then Ender Inciarte is in center. Um, Brandon Drury from the first season trade is still here. Meh. Um, looking at our bullpen, we've added Aaron Loop. That's it. That's it. Anybody in the minors that's new? It doesn't look like it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, let's take a look at the lineup. Anybody new here that I should be interested in? 
not really so not much has changed a couple trades here and there but nothing too crazy again let's let's see what the cpu can do for us i mean we're four days into the year and we're already making a trade we're getting Derek dietrich for jason schroeder all right we're making more moves paul blackburn for a lead miss diaz i feel like season two and season three the cpu is really going to start going crazy with the moves all righty so we're here at the draft you guys are going to see simulate draft i'm not controlling it at all this time i actually showed you guys though so you guys won't think i'm a cheater all righty so we're back to making moves with the braves we're going leonis martin uh to the astros so we're getting back a guy we've already had for tyler white oh what are we doing what's the cpu doing all righty let's take a look at the draft um pretty disappointing once again we got an 82 potential 52 overall player 63 potential 70 oh boy this is this is not pretty and then looking at our lineup you guys can see the moves that were made it's why why are we why are we falling apart like this like yuli guriel's on our team we don't even use him leonis martin we traded him we're not even using him he's in triple a what's going on here um pitching rotation is basically the same um but it looks pretty ugly and from what i'm seeing the cpu is doing a very poor job we are 52 and 59 what is going on as you guys can guess the cpu is completely ruining everything 80 and 82 we are four we uh, it was a 494 like percentage oh that's just so bad like what is going on with this team we have some league leaders though ender and crte with triple so i guess that's kind of like a silver lining we did win some awards rookie of the year for jordan alvarez and you guys can see let's take a look at jordan alvarez up to a uh, 76 33 home runs 109 rbis that is a very solid season i do like to see that but let's take a look at everybody else altuve did a pretty solid nciarte was okay bregman very very good carlos correa very good uh michael brantley oh wow where'd that little power increase come from almost doubling his home runs Derek dietrich was not too bad 20 home runs isn't terrible brandon drury 323 average hold on time out okay all right that's a lot better than last year you guys can see the the rest of the team there so pitching rotation it's looking like maybe our pitching rotation struggled quite a bit uh yeah it's looking like this was the big disappointment for sure this really just fell apart we don't even have roberto osuna closing games what is going on with this cpu are they on drugs there has to be no there has to be there's no other reason maybe the 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 cpu is like fried or i don't know what's going on what so heading into the offseason you guys can see the yankees defeated the cubs and uh we're gonna keep on pushing forward steven wren has retired um and again guys we're not taking control of this cpu handles everything Alrighty, so for some reason, when I said sim to regular season, it simulated a couple games. Um, but this is the team. I'll, I'll like ha I'll like show the first couple seconds of me simulating to the season, so you guys can see what's going on. This is the team. This is what the CPU has put together. It looks like we let Michael Brantley go. Uh, Carlos Santana has joined the team. We got Eric Haas here. Um, so again, not much has changed. It doesn't look like we made too many off-season changes, acquisitions, trades, anything you want to call it. Um, pretty disappointed that Osuna's not closing games. But I guess that's what the CPU wants. Uh, the pitching staff for the miners looks really good. Um, but we'll have to wait and see how things go there. Looking at our lineup. Oh, I want to look at the miners. We got Yuli Guriel just chilling down here. What's the point of having him on the team? If we're just, we're going to let him sit there. I feel like we could pay somebody else. Same with Freddie Galvis. I feel like what's the point of paying him 1.5 million when we could use it for somebody else? What is the CPU doing? They're killing me right now. Oh man. 
This this gives me chest pains. Alrighty, we're back to simulating the draft for season three. I really don't expect much from the CPU. The CPU has been really making this bad. Alright, we're making a move. Michael Feliz to the Astros for catcher Jose Trevino. I feel like that is just a very bad trade to make. I don't think that helps us at all. Alrighty, so the Pirates have acquired Ender Inciarte, and what do we get in return? Pedro Lopez and Jason Martin. Pedro Lopez, I mean, we'll take a look at him. He looks like he's pretty solid, but Jason Martin, really? Really? Alrighty, so the deadline has approached for season three. Let's take a look at the draft picks. Tim Leffler is 50 overall, 81 potential. We got an 83 potential player here in Roman Burke. And then the rest are 60s. You got to be kidding. Like, whew, that is a terrible, terrible draft for once again. So looking at our lineup, I mean, this is a, a solid looking lineup. Like everyone's hitting the ball. Okay, not everyone's hitting it well. But Correa's kind of struggling there. Jordan Alvarez is kind of struggling. Dietrich is doing okay. Kyle Tucker is doing okay. Um, but overall, it, for the most part, it's doing well. For the most part, it's doing well. So let's see. Let's see this Pedro Lopez guy. He looks legit. Yeah, he looks like this. Okay, I'm I'm not I'm not mad about that Ender and Ciarte trade anymore. Um, the starting rotation, you got to do something, CPU. I would have had McCullers, Clevenger, Peacock. They would have been all out the door by now. We would have had a completely new setup going on. Maybe even bring up Frances Martez. I mean, something's got to change, right? We're at the trade deadline in season three. We're 60 and 51, and they haven't made any trades to improve that starting rotation. We didn't make the postseason for a second straight year. So for three seasons, the Astros, yes, the Astros didn't make the postseason. So two of three seasons, two of three seasons, we didn't make the postseason. That is not acceptable. I'm going to get fired after season three this year because we didn't make the postseason. So the CPU can't win me a World Series. That is so disappointing. Uh, we do get an award. I don't know for what. A Cy Young. Pl no, not a chance. Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, I, I guess that's a, that. That's a pretty acceptable year. Uh, okay, I'll give him that one. That one's pretty good. Um, McCullers had almost a five ERA, and we kept him. Why? Clevenger was a bust when they traded for him. Paul Blackburn, not terrible. Okay, that one's not bad. Brad Peacock. Ho! Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Verlander's not even on the MLB squad anymore. Ho. Oh. Boy. I think the best trade they made was for Pedro Lopez from the Pirates. I think every other trade was absolute garbage. It took them until, what, the second half of season three to realize we should probably be closing Roberto Osuna. Oh, man, I can't believe that happened. Looking at the stats for the rest of the year, you guys can see. It looks like the offense was plenty good enough. It just was that pitching, which the CPU refused to make any moves for. So that, I mean, we'll, we'll see who wins the World Series. Jason Martin actually looks like a legit pickup. All right, so it looks like that Pirates trade was probably the best trade that the CPU made. Um... But overall, I'm pretty disappointed with the way the CPU... Normally, the CPU is, like, out here wheeling and dealing, making trades left and right, going crazy. But I guess the Astros, besides the George Springer trade, they were like, nah, we don't want to make any big trades. So, we'll see who wins the World Series. Let's take, a, let's take a little gander. Let's see if I get fired really quick, because I don't think I'm going to uh, keep my job. I don't think I'm going to keep my job. So, the Rockies defeat the Indians. Um... I got fired the cpu got me fired oh man and whoo the cpu got me fired so i just wanted to have a short little quick fun video with you guys can the cpu win us a world series can the cpu rebuild a team better than me and i think they actually did worse than me so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the like button down below 500 likes we'll make it a double upload tomorrow once we hit 15,000 subs you guys will see what I've been working on. I think you guys will really like it. I really do. And also in the comment section, let me know future rebuild ideas. That's about it, guys. Don't forget to click that link and get ready for that game tomorrow. Phillies Dodgers, 1230 Eastern, 930 AM Pacific time. 
Catch you all in the next video. Peace.